The BlueLink Advanced Standard Cost Component helps you understand your true cost of bringing inventory into your warehouse and therefore allows you to calculate an accurate gross margin and profitability by product. If you only take into account the price that you're paying the supplier for products, when in fact you're adding on costs for transportation or freight into your warehouse, possibly things like duty and brokerage if you're importing, then you're understating your cost and overstating your profitability. On the screen we're looking at now, you are able to define as many different types of additional costs or landed cost factors that may be involved in bringing products into your inventory and making them saleable. When we look at the inventory item maintenance screen, the screen where we define products, you'll see that we can select from that list of master landed cost factors the ones that most frequently apply to this particular product. It all comes together on the actual purchase order screen when we're placing a purchase order or when we've completed assembling the purchase order to a supplier. Look at the landed cost factors that we've defined as by default for all the products that are on this inventory item. They all get added here. And then we're able to, first of all, at a high level for each landed cost type of factor, review and if necessary correct the way it's calculated. You'll notice that the first two are calculated as a percentage, whereas the freight amount is actually a flat dollar amount. In each case, we have the ability to define how they are prorated across the products on the actual purchase order. So percentages, usually it's obviously just a straight percentage, um, but with things like freight, we have a choice of how we can allocate those based on things like weight cube, quantity, custom allocation, etc. And then in addition, what we can do is we can specify for each of these landed cost factors which product they apply to. There may be certain products, for example, that do not incur brokerage, and therefore those ones, the boxes will be unchecked. And again, we can edit that and override these defaults and get the appropriate calculation of how to apply brokerage, duty, and freight in this example, but any other landed cost factors to all the items on a given purchase order. So finally, when we come back to the inventory item maintenance screen and we look at the purchase history, the top line, which is the most recent shipment, shows a price in the price column per unit of $19 each, and that was the price that we paid the supplier. But it shows a landed cost of $20.97, which is the cost at which we brought it into inventory showing our true cost and allowing us to assess gross margin against a real cost of almost $21 rather than a notional supplier cost of $19 per unit. Now, if we want to understand how we got from $19 to $20.97, we've got the full history here. These are the individual landed cost factors that were added on to that particular shipment. And so there you can see the unit cost added on for brokerage was $0.40, cents, for duty was $0.57, cents, and for freight was a nice even dollar which comes to the $1.97, which was the difference between your price and your landed cost. And there you have it.